How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is episode 12 of Let's Play series for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Iowa Plains View. When we last left off we have been busy. We were sitting there at our farm just <laughs> doing all sorts of work to our little field. We had to be able to get it all up to par. We ended up getting a brand new uh, slurry spreader for the field there and just went back and forth, back and forth to get it all up to sp up to snuff in that regard. And then we planted barley. We finally made the decision that barley was going to be our next crop in that field. And we just continue from there. You can see here in this episode, we're working on a field. We got a contract. It's field number 24. We're just kind of, you know, going back and forth. We're just going to sit back, relax, and allow the... Uh, field to get complete and I'm gonna take over just real quick because who you know what what I ought to do instead of being silly I don't know why I was doing this I'm gonna make a headland real fast and that'll just give me enough of a bumper but uh, what do I got going on for today well I I think I need to reconsider the set of equipment that I have. I have been digging through the catalogs and I just so happen to find something that I think is going to be, I don't want to say a game changer because it's not to that degree, but it's a very kind of modular setup. It's uh very multi-faceted tool that's going to allow us to do so many different jobs with just a small time in the shop when we when we need to do something different we just take it to the shop we kind of do our thing we take off some panels put on some new ones some uh, various di different bits of equipment um, and what's nice is that it's all you know things that we can do around the shop so you know, very, very simple, just, you know, pull pull off a fender here, pull put on a bearing there, you know, this, that, and the other thing. It's it's actually a very, very nice setup. I uh, called ahead and was talking to the shop owners there and was asking, is this something that they can get a hold of? They assured me that, yes, this is absolutely something that they can get a hold of. So I am going to go ahead and finish this contract and then I'm gonna go up to the shop and see what kind of deal we can work out because uh, if that's the case that they can get their hands on this particular set of equipment I think I'm gonna <laughs> think I'm gonna have a lot of equipment to run up to the shop so yeah so I'm just gonna sit back relax continue to work on this field get this all finished off because this is like a twenty thousand dollar contract it's well worth the time to be able to you know finish this off I ended up borrowing the equipment because the one they were gonna give us or the one they were gonna lease to us as you can see here has a pretty monster spread width to it and this is a huge field if I bring up the map just real fast you can see it's pretty big so figured it would be better just to go with the one with the bigger spread with yeah I lose out on a bit of money a couple like thousand or two thousand dollar to lease out this equipment but in the end it's gonna be a lot faster and it's not gonna be as much you know me going back and forth back and forth just trekking along the field so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and speed up the video play here and we'll uh, slow it back down once we're all done We'll catch back up in a little bit.
there we go contract is complete now I'm gonna take this tractor and fertilizer spreader back to the shop and uh, yeah I'm gonna collect my 20 odd grand plus get paid for whatever extra I have in the fertilizer spreader so we will uh, head up there and see you in a bit okay so I'm back up here at the shop I went ahead and returned the equipment got paid it was over 30 grand when everything was said and done because they paid me a bit extra for the fertilizer that was still in the machine so everything was a okay hunky dory very happy I then spent a little bit of time running back and forth with the Phoenix here and got all the pieces of equipment because I talked to the shop owners and they told me yes not only can they get it for me they got it for me in the time it took me to just do all that contract work so I have access to the new uh, piece of equipment that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna show you exactly what is going to take the place of you might be a little impressed check it out all these are gonna get replaced by the new piece of equipment I intend to buy the water tanker, the slurry spreader, fertilizer spreader and lime spreader, animal trailer with chicken capacity, this can hold chickens in it, the new one is going to be able to do the same thing, and my trailer. Some of these things I just bought, I literally just bought this, and oh, it's going to be worth trading it in, it's going to be worth it. Because the capacity on this one, I think, was like 30,000. Uh, you know what? Let's check it out. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, where is... There it is. Three tanks. Oh, I'm sorry. 18,000. Yeah. That, that's, that's rather small. I had to make several trips back and forth to the uh, Dexter's Laboratory in order to uh, keep filling this thing up. So... I, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was a great piece of equipment, it did exactly what I needed to do, but I think I found something better. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the truck here, I'm going to sell off everything that I have here, and I'm gonna buy that new, uh, new trailer, new equipment. So, go ahead and hook up to the first trailer here. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to keep a running tab as to how much I'm going to get back by selling all this equipment and then trading in for this new set. Let's see what kind of uh, return I get. So starting with this trailer here, <clears throat> I need to get my calculator. So, oops. There we go. Okay, so starting with this. 19,541. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a tree there. Apparently that is the mightiest sapling in the in the land able to stop my mighty phoenix. Okay. Now this one, if I remember it was really expensive. So, let's see what we'll get for this one. 93,100 whoops 93144 the braid all spreader let's see what we get for this one
This one should also be a fair bit of money. Forty-eight thousand six six three. So right there, we're already looking at a hundred and sixty-one thousand dollars. Just those three pieces of equipment. That does not include the next two. <clears throat> And both of these, like I think this trailer was not super expensive, but wasn't cheap either. Here we go. Twenty-one thousand. 713 All right, moment of truth. Let's see what we get in total for all five pieces of equipment. So, last trailer. Oops, let me go. Twenty-seven thousand two fifty-two. Okay. Now let me do. Okay, so total that I'm going to get back with all five pieces of equipment is $210,313. Oh. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead, enter into the shop, and purchase the equipment. All of it. And when everything's said and done... And I don't just mean the, the base equipment. I mean all the fenders and wells and uh, additions and equipment and all, everything I need for this one set because it's all kind of quote-unquote modular. you know. And, and like I said, I can just take parts off, slap them back on, uh, do everything, anything that I need to do with this set of equipment. But I'm going to go ahead and talk to the people here. They're going to get my trailer. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, here it is. I know, I know, I I can already hear y'all out there saying it. You're like, Dave, what the heck? It's a flat deck. What are you doing with this? That's not going to take the place of your spreaders, your slurry uh, system, your tipper trailer. I, I assure you, it does everything that I need it to do. So this is an amazing, amazing trailer. Like I said, it's kind of modules. So if I go to a repair point or anything like that, I can just click into it. I can set this up as a flatbed, as a tipper body, as you can see with 37,000 liters of space or with extension for 43,000 liters this is something I didn't even have before until now. This can be used as a log trailer. I can tote around liquids, 43,000 liters. Now I do lose a little bit of space with the liquids, but that's okay. That's okay. A slurry spreader. Look at this. So you can have your liquids or have the slurry spreader attachment. This 
is the spreader system. This takes the place of the Bradol, and it's 41,000 liters. 41,000 liters of space. That is huge compared to the Bradol. Huge, huge. I think it's like almost four times the amount of space. And the livestock trailer. And it also takes chickens. So tell me where I'm losing on this situation. This does more than what all those different pieces of equipment did before. And when I calculate everything all up, let's just, uh, let's do a bit of math. Six, three, carry the one, 22,000 million bajillion. And, oh, can't forget about that. It's got to, uh, ah. So, I sold all the pieces of equipment, all the individual pieces of equipment for 210313 I bought this trailer and all the various bits of equipment that goes with it for 69850 bucks. That is a huge, huge, huge difference. I mean, that's just incredible. And I'm just figuring out the difference right now. Again, got to do a little bit of math here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. So if we do... All right. Oh man, so I made $140,000 back from all those various pieces of equipment that I just sold. Let's see, hold on. Just want to make sure that everything's loaded up. Load that up. All right. We'll get our new piece of equipment back to the farm. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. Very cool. This gives us the ability to not only tow some of our vehicles that need to be towed around, we can also do a bit of forestry if we need to, you know, taking things from one place to, to another in that way. We can do literally everything that we had before and then some. I can really dig that. Really dig it. So just go ahead and take this back and wait until you see all the vacant space in the uh, in the farm in the the in the buildings the uh, uh, barns that's the word I'm looking for English it, it's a tough language tougher than you think <laughs> so look at this these were packed full of stuff and now nothing nothing at all love it and now, as you can see, we've got to figure out something to do with all this stuff. Because look at this. We are full on tomatoes. We are chugging away on lettuce. And we are really full on strawberries. We've got to, we really got to get something there. So, these are so much fun. Watch this. Oh, you know what? I might... Uh, I might be okay where I'm at. Oop. No, no. Oh, well. I'm going to have to remember that being a thing. Why? I don't want to throw my stuff around.
Okay. So let's go ahead and turn this off. So I'm definitely going to have to remember to minimum empty this out before this gets to its maximum capacity because that, ugh, that's dang. Oh well. Let's go run across the street. We'll grab our tractor as well as our, let's see, our pallet forks right there. And we'll get to loading. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to figure out what we can do this. Uh, we can either sell it outright or, I mean, we got a bit of extra money now. I might be able to just go ahead and purchase some production point. That might be something to look into. Hmm. Well, I'm going to think that part over just a bit, just to make sure. And you know what? I need to f fix up this tractor because, whew, it's looking a little haggard. Let's go ahead and pull around here. And repair, repair. There we go. Whole bunch of repairs done. And now it's time to go ahead and load this trailer. Let's see. Oof. Completely, completely whiffed on that one. There we go. You know, if I can lift these by hand, why don't I just do that? Well, I'll just go ahead and finish that one. There. I'm, I can do the rest of this by hand. go got all the strawberries loaded up we can go ahead and take the lettuce and as well as the tomatoes let's go ahead and boop look at it go pow working very well that little pusher perfect Let's go ahead and hop in here. There we go. All right, gonna load these up. Catch you back here in just a minute. There we go. Now the lettuce is on. Now we just gotta worry about the tomatoes. Now it's time to load up all the tomatoes. Oops.
I don't know what it is, but these tomatoes are insisting I'm Superman. They just want me to fly through the sky. I keep telling them, no, not Superman. Cannot fly over buildings in a single bound. You know, I've heard of spinach giving you, you know, super strength, but never heard of tomatoes making you fly. And there we go. Now. 18,000 liters of strawberries, 4,000 of lettuce, and 9,000 of tomatoes. That's a pretty good haul right there. So now, now we need to do some figuring out. Let's uh, go into this menu here. Uh, nope, right here. Haha. So the diner, garden restaurant, town store. This one also does ketchup production. And this one, the cakery, town store, waffle shop, garden restaurant. Hmm. I'm pretty sure if I do the ketchup shop, I need sugar. And I don't have sugar. Alright. I'm going to get up to the shop there. I'm going to have a think, take a look around. And I will cut us back in as soon as I make a decision. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm up here at the shop, and I'm missing too many components to make buying a production point worth anything at this point. So I think what I need to do is go ahead and just sell this stuff off, get whatever kind of money I can get from it. Now the highest paying area right now is the store, the town store here. It's right across the way here. Pull through. Wait for this guy to cross. And we need to dump this in the back. Right back here. $23,754. Not too shabby. I am happy with that. Twenty-three grand, and whoa. And all we had to do is use some water. I can, uh, I can live with that. I can certainly live with that. All right. Now what I need to do is, uh, yeah, what I need to do is take a look at all my animals around the farm because I think some of them are starting to run out of food. So I'm going to have to go ahead and fill them up as, uh, as needed. Meet you back there. Okay, after taking a better look, I do not have uh, animals that are in need of feed but what it is, is I have animals that are need to move the items that they are producing so the chickens in particular have a lot of eggs so far and I've got to figure out something to do with them so come over here uh, I wonder if I can lift these up by hand I hope so uh, no I can't. 
shoot. Well. Pull around over here. Good thing I have the other tractor over here. Go and grab it, and we'll go and load those uh, egg boxes onto the trailer. We'll figure out what to do from there. Now that was about as clean as clean can get. I, I'm pretty happy with that one. All right, can we go for two? I don't want to say too much. I'm afraid I'm going to jinx myself or something. go wow I'm pretty happy with that actually I uh, I don't tend to be the greatest when it comes to stacking things with the pallet fork or something like that normally it gets hooked on there or you know any number of different things happens and just always goes awry but uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with that so let's take a look at what we can do here so eggs do, 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 do. There we go, eggs. Diner, garden restaurant, the cakery, or the town store. And again, the store takes the best price. So the store wins. Let's go deliver these up there. Get paid. Meet you up there. Alright, I'm getting ready to pull in. Drop these off. Uh, just shy of 10,000. Well, with the environmental score over 10,000, so nice. I will uh, move on from there. Uh, ooh, you know what just occurred to me? 
Got a ton of popcorn over there. Hmm. Should I load up the popcorn and sell that off? Let's uh, take a look. Oh, darn it. Um, that I should have looked into before. Oof. Oof. Oh, oh my, oh my. A high of almost $900 per thousand liters, but popcorn gets that bad of a reduction? I mean, butter popcorn is fine, but $200? I just wasted a ton of product here. Oh, oh. Oof. Oh man, can I get my corn back? I'm gonna switch this over and see if I can get my corn back out because holy smokes, that's that's terrible. That's a terrible investment. Like if you got the, the butter and whatnot, you could then make buttered popcorn and that's worth it. Oh man, I really hope I can get my corn back out because that's pathetically terrible. Let's see. I don't think there's anywhere for me to get this out of. Oh, ugh, ugh, just ugh. Oh, that stinks. Oh, man. I just wasted a ton of product there. Oh, well. You know what? I should take the popcorn and just run it across the street to the diner there, and eventually it'll start to sell. Ugh, just, ugh, oh my goodness. Why would they do that? Why would that be just so less on this? Whoa, what are you doing? Well, I will go this way then. Because I don't know what's going on. Oh, man, that really stinks. Because that... I don't even remember how much product I put in there. Alright, so I'm back here at the farm. I got a hold of my contractor, and I want to get into some sheep farming. And I think it's time for me to buckle down and get something done. So I think... I think I'm going to have enough space over in this corner here next to the chickens. So let's see what they can do for us. We'll see you in a bit. Well, it was a little bigger than I expected him to put in, but it works. Butts right up against the field, but it works. Yeah, I uh, I'm pretty happy with this. You can see, got the. Uh, Yeah, got the uh, nice little barn here. Nice little field of grass for them to kind of relax and do their sheepy things in. But now, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. 
it's right here. And now we're going to switch this over to a animal trailer and go pick up some sheep. I've got all the uh, various components right here at the farm, so now all I have to do is go to the garage here. Occasionally go up to the attic, because that's where I got them all stored. A little bit of hard work and a few bolts here and there. We got us an animal trailer. Alright. We will uh, go get some sheep. Meet you down there. All right, so now we're going to pull in here. Now the pen can take up to 65 sheep. I'm not going to do 65. But what can I do? Do I want uh do 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 do. do, do, do. Uh 48 into the trailer. Maybe do 15 and 15. 15 babies and 15 adults. There we go. All right. We're going to take these little boys and girls back to the farm. We'll see you there. All right. I am here. Get ready to load into our new barn here. Go ahead and back on up. Open the fence. Open the gate. And there they go. And now, need to give them some water as well as, uh, here we go, we'll cut right over the grate here. Water and some food. So, gotta convert this over to a liquid tanker and a uh, tipper. Let's do that real quick. And there it is. Now I just need to hook up. I'm going to go fill this up. Okay. So we've got our water. Let's go ahead and dump this in there. Water is full. Let's see if I can go and dump these into the greenhouses or somewhere else around the farm.
There we go. Got rid of the water. Now I've got my tipper trailer all connected up and gonna pick up some uh, some hay across the street there. Oh, I didn't see that coming. So I've got like 500,000 liters of grass that's still converting to hay and silage. I might as well just go ahead and take that and use that towards uh, the sheep. Alright, got this all loaded down. Go ahead and head back over across the street and feed our sheep. Then they ought to be good for a little while. We'll not have to worry about them for a few months. And there we go. Food full, water full. Those are going to be some happy sheep, which means they're going to be producing soon. And once they start producing, I'll have some wool on hand and be good to go. But now, need to dump this out. go all emptied out good to go okay Yep, yeah, as you can see, food and water are good to go. All the sheep are over here drinking and eating their fill, except for the one little lonely one over there. Oh, well, maybe they're maybe they're thinking of coming. Ah, uh, maybe not. Anyways, let's see what's in our silo. I've kind of lost track. Corn, wheat, canola, and sorghum. I could make some canola oil. Um, yeah, I mean. I think that'd be a decent return. Let's, uh. Oh, yes. Okay. I think canola by itself is just, uh. I mean, it can be pretty high by itself, but. It can be much higher when it's oil. Let's, uh. Yeah, let's go ahead and just take the canola to the oil mill and make it into something.
didn't see you. Sorry. All right. Going to head over to the oil mill, drop all this off. We'll see you up there. Okay. Pulling up on the oil mill. There we go. And now, there we go. Now we should be producing. All right, should be making some canola oil. There it is. Perfect. Let's see. And there's that worthless popcorn. Ugh, that just makes me so sad. You know what? That just reminds me. I made a whole boatload of fries. Please tell me that those are actually worth something. Okay, okay, 561 versus like threes, I think, for potatoes. Oh, yeah, 374. Okay, almost double. But I mean, the sunflower oil costs a lot. Ah, oh, these things don't make any sense. The sunflower oil that I had to put into it. But of course I'm not using a ton of sunflower oil for it, am I? No, so for every five potatoes I'm using one sunflower oil and still getting five liters of fries, so I think that's okay. I got 72, wow. I got a lot of french fries. All right. Well, I'm going to head back up to the farm. We'll see you over there. All right. Pull into the farm here. I think we'll leave the trailer right in here. Okay, from here I want to go check on something. Uh, well, here, first I want to see something in here. Okay. So, gonna make a quick trip, gonna hop in the semi just real quick. There we go. All right, we'll see you over there. Okay, so I'm up here at the grain mill. I just wanted to see how much it was to purchase because I might start making some flour and corn flour. Ooh, 96,000? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that because I can I think I can make sorghum and sorghum flour and corn flour and maybe even a little wheat flour too all right hop back in the truck and uh, head over to the farm I'll see you there all right so first things first gonna grab my trailer again And see what products I actually have. Let's 
let's see, so my trailer can take over 40,000 liters of each product. Let's see, so 82. You know what? Let's take a full trailer of wheat. All right, take this down to the uh, to the mill. We'll see you there. All right, we're getting ready to pull up on the grain mill. Just got to cross the bridge right here. And dump out right here. Went too far. All right, get the wheat started. And there we go. Now I'll head back to the farm and get the next product. We'll see you there. Getting ready for the next load. And take the sorghum. Alright, we'll see you over there. Alright, crossing the bridge one more time. And pull over the grates. And drop in the sorghum. Okay, so we got wheat, 5 to 4, sorghum, 15 to 16, and corn, 15 to 13, okay. Alright, one more trip to the farm and back, see you in a bit. Now, we'll top off with corn, deliver this, and then we'll probably call it good from there, because that'll be more than enough product of each in order for it to start building up a little uh, little cache of product. So. It'll be good to go from there. So let's go ahead and make our way over there. We'll see you in a bit. All right. And, oh, too fast, too fast. There we go. Oh yeah, it's making flour pretty quick too. Nice. Very nice. Well, I think this is where we're going to call it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, following, doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing that shows that you're engaged with the channel and join the content. And that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.